Hello everyone. Today we're going to be doing some mask making. To set up our station, you'll need a smock, you'll need a placemat. Uh, special materials are going to be the plaster gauze strips, your mask form, and some water. Before you start making your mask, it's going to be really important that you label the inside of your mask with your name because they're all going to look identical during this first part of the process. And you don't want to get your mask mixed up with somebody else's. All right, once that's finished, we're going to work one piece at a time. These are gauze strips that are covered with a, a powdery dust called plaster. And when you dip it in the water and get it wet, you let it drip off a little bit so it's not sopping wet. And then you can start to lay it on your form. Now I'll hold it up close so you can see. See all those little holes? If you just start rubbing, getting all of the wrinkles and air bubbles out, you rub it nice and flat and some of those holes will start to slowly fill up. So you're just gonna work one strip at a time, cover the entire face, and you can overlap each strip just a little bit. And it's gonna be really important to try to work the strip into all of the little crevices so that it adheres really well. Like around the nose is a little tricky. And you can kind of dip your finger in some water just to help get going there. You're gonna cover all the way except for this strip right here. Well, you try to get down to this side, this little joint, and then you're gonna stop. All right, let's do another one together. So I'll dip it. Bigger strips like this, you can use in bigger, bigger spots. I'm gonna get some of that off. And I'll drape it down here on the side. Okay, just like that. All right, so I'm gonna do one layer and show you what it looks like. There, I've gotten one layer done. And you'll wanna tr keep track of how many layers you put on. So you're doing it one whole layer at a time and you wanna always keep working out any wrinkles or any little air bubbles and make sure everything feels nice and flat and smooth. And then you're gonna cover it a second time and a third time. And so you'll have to work a little quickly but after the first layer, it's easier to get going. The reason why we want to do three is because three layers is just right to make this really strong and stiff so that when it dries, we'll be able to pop it off and it will be a very solid, strong mask form. So I'm gonna work on mine. You guys are gonna get started working on yours and it's not too messy of work. You will be able to wash up when you're finished.